Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is vectors. So we are looking at the product of negative uh, scalar and a vector. So previously we looked at the productive product of a positive scalar and a vector. We talked about what a scalar is in the beginning of this uh, topic. You can go back and check. So what about in the situation where we have a negative scalar, how do we work out these vectors? So first of all, subtraction of one vector from another is performing by adding the corresponding negative vector. So if we look at this vector from point A and point D, first of all, we know if we move from this point to this point, the, the, the vector is going to be positive. It's moving in the right direction in regards to the arrow. If the arrow is inverted into the opposite direction, then it becomes opposite, like negative. So if we were to move from A, B, you see we are going against the, the arrow or against the direction. So it would be A, D is equals to A, B plus B, C plus C, D. So A, B would be negative A plus B, C will be negative 3A, A, and then plus C, D will be negative A. This is the same as negative 3A. So you see there is a negative scalar that is multiplying a certain vector. As you can see, it shows an opposite direction to the positive vector, an opposite direction. It's going against the direction which we're supposed to follow. So let's look at how we work out these questions. So the same way we were given this question in the previous uh, class. So in this class, we are going now to use negative. So if t is equals to 2a minus b and r is equals to b plus 3a. So these are the representation of t and r in terms of vector a and vector b. So that is what we have. Remember, we do not have coordinates of these vectors. We are using them as unknown. Later on, you're going to learn about the representation of column vectors. And we are going to work out some calculations also using these unknowns, but now with conclusion. So let's start with the first one, negative t. When you see the negative 2, it means there is a 1 somewhere, negative 1 times t. It's like that. So this is the same as negative 1. And our t is 2a minus b. So let's open that bracket. So it's going to be negative 1 times 2a. We are going to get negative 2a. Negative 1 times negative b. Remember, we have negative and negative. So it's going to form positive b. So our answer becomes negative 2a plus b. Or it can be b minus 2a. Let's look at another question negative 2r. Now we have negative scalar and then r. r is represented by b plus 3a. So when you open that bracket, it's going to be negative 2b minus positive becomes minus 6a. So that is our answer. Okay, so let's work out this negative t minus 2r. So we are subtracting, but now remember we are using the scalars. So this is the same as negative 1, as we said before, times t plus or minus 2 r like that. So minus 1 into bracket t is 2a minus b, then minus 2 into bracket r is b plus 3a like that. So when we open, this becomes minus 2a. Minus minus becomes positive b. Minus 2, it becomes minus 2b. Minus, minus, minus. Minus plus is minus 6a. Be careful with the minuses. So minus 2a, when you put the light terms together, minus 6a plus b minus 2b. Minus 2a minus 6a gives us minus 8a. B minus 2 becomes B, and that's our answer. And finally, we have negative 2R plus negative 2T. So we have negative 2 into bracket R 
then plus negative 2 into bracket t. So this is the same as 2 into bracket r is b plus 3a plus minus 2 into bracket t, which is 2a minus b. So when you open this bracket, minus 2b minus 6a and then minus, because plus minus is minus, 4a because you multiply it and then minus minus becomes positive 2b so when we put like terms together it becomes minus 2b plus 2b minus 6a minus 4a so this becomes minus 2b plus b becomes 0 minus 6a minus 4a becomes minus 10a and that's your answer Right. So this is the last question. So we did A and B in our previous lesson. So you can go back and check that. So in this lesson, we are going to continue with the rest of the question. So also this can form your basis for practice. You can check out if you are able to get the correct answer. So remember what we said with this question. So remember this is a polygon and all sides are equal. So PQ is going to be equal to TS and then QT. It's like if you do, um, if you cut this polygon into half, you're going to form, like you're going to, to if, you, if you match these two sides, they're going to be equal. We talked about this in similarity and enlargement. So, and then UT is going to be C and then U, P, U is going to be B, like that. So if you were to look for T, Q, we want to move from T to Q, and it's in this direction. It means we can use different ways. We can either use T, S, S, R, R, Q, or we can use T, U, U, P, P, Q. By the end of the day, you get the same answer. So T, Q, we are going to move from T, S plus S R plus R Q like that. So T S is vector A plus S R which is minus C minus because it's going in the opposite direction. See now that is where the negative comes in. And then R Q, it becomes minus B because still also it's going in the opposite direction. So this becomes A minus C minus B. And then let's look at R T. So from R to T this way. So when you move from R to T, so it's the other direction. So we can go to R, S plus S, T. R, S is C plus S, T is the opposite. So it becomes minus A. So your answer becomes C minus A. U, Q. Let's look at U, Q. So we are moving from U to Q, so this direction, so U, Q, so you move from U, P, plus P, Q, so U, P is going to be B, plus P, Q is A, what's your answer, and finally, the last one, which is U, S, U, S, so we have U, S, and the direction is from U to S. So we can go to U, T. We are choosing this, the easiest direction plus T, S. You can decide to go in the opposite direction, but you end up to the same answer. So U, T is C plus T, S is A. So you see how we worked out that question and also where the negative came in in our calculation. You can decide to go the long method, try out the long method and see if you get the same answer.
So check out more revision questions and notes on the same in the app. See you in the next lesson.